What's you just say then? go the video they talking back and forth sierra says um i really don't need you like you you know i mean you're cool i like having you around you're a nice stepdaddy and all but i don't need you russ is like that's fine you know you shouldn't need no man he said but i need you i need you baby she said yeah <laughs> what, what y'all think what you think about that dynamic with it what you so, so here's the question here's the question why does Sierra feel comfortable doing this? I don't know. Everything about their relationship is cringy to me, man. It's 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 disturbing. Like he's he's that guy that the same guy from the last joint uh, that I was talking about that that puts the woman first. Like mm -hmm. I feel like Russell Wilson doesn't know how to be himself, nor does he know how to be a man inside of a relationship or inside of a household. Um, I feel like on the field, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even on the field too, because he's a little off there as well. <laughs> but I, I just feel like he's not comfortable in his own skin. And she got him at this place where everything is about respecting women and women. I man, I guarantee she calls all the shots in the house. Like I I I'd I'd love for them to have a reality show. I need to see this dynamic behind closed doors. Like it's crazy. Hey. I agree. I agree with you. I would love to see it, man. I know it's wild. What do you think, Banger? Sierra is, uh, with, with, with this stuff going on, this is going to split a lot of relationships and create a battle, man, with this independent movement. That's what this is. I ain't saying a, a female should be dependent. And I ain't saying a male should be that way either. We both independent when we get together in the relationship. You hold your part, I hold mine. All that I don't need somebody stuff. Yeah, when he reached the top and signed new contracts, you don't need them now because you got your part. She wrong. Making that sorry ass song, she wrong. Right. You supposed to stay in your place. A man is supposed to the hell with all that that's uh hyping these females up, man. We supposed to go to God first and then do what we do. There you go. That's that's, that's the, the natural up. the natural that's what I'm submitting to. I'm not about to submit to no damn woman. <laughs> there you go the natural what's the natural way of things if you believe in something greater than yourself men we supposed to submit to god and our women supposed to submit to us and it's a beautiful flow if you ask me and my in my shabby you know 10 going on 11 years of marriage happily married it ain't about independence that is a bad you don't want to be independent because if you independent from a real man he going to go and be independent somewhere else. It don't work like that. Right. If you really looking for longevity, y'all really looking for happily ever after getting married, having grandkids, you're looking for interdependence. You should need each other. You should build a bond where you don't want to be without each other. For your, for a woman, look at you and say, I don't need you. <laughs> you get, that's come on, man. She told, she just told, she don't need you. She most likely got somebody in the wing waiting for you to act stupid. You know I feel like if Sierra heard you say that a woman should be submissive to a man, she might have a heart attack. Like I, I feel like modern women, <clears throat> that word submissive to them sounds like uh, slavery, sounds mm -hmm. like do what I say and shut up. But like submission is the simple fact that I'm the leader, right? In my mm -hmm. household, we both come into this with a purpose. We both come into this thing with ideas. Once you and I decide where we want to be we agree this is the house we want this is the lifestyle we want the amount of kids 
it is my duty as a man to make sure I guide us to where we agreed upon going. Because sometimes women, and no offense to women, due to hormones, kids, everything that happens to y'all, the decision making always isn't always, I don't even know how to word it, but it's important for us as men to always make sure no matter where you're at mentally and emotionally, that we stay on track. You know what I'm saying? And you, in, the, in, in any given moment when I'm like, hey, no, 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 I need you to trust me. Well, we're doing this. Sub that's the submission, you trusting the fact that I'm making sure we're sticking to our plan. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a woman like Sierra, would, they, would, they would probably conflict in that moment when I need you to let me protect us. And when I need mm -hmm. you to let, let me guide us, she probably couldn't. You know what See? I'm saying? And Russell was supposed to sniff that out. Men are supposed to sniff that out in the dating realm. Like, yes, can sir. I really lead us and, and protect us? If not, I got to go. Somebody else going to have to train you. You know what I'm saying? That's Every man is supposed to let this girl go who ain't ready, who can't there submit. So she can finally realize eventually once she submits, that guy will marry her. But not mm -hmm. me. I got to go. I'm on to the next. You know what I mean? Because if you don't respect me or if you can't submit to me, I can't guide us to where we both agree we wanted to go. There you go. I perfectly said, if you can't submit to your man or <laughs> accept his guidance, he can't protect you. If he said, hey, come here, and you don't come here, that's the same. If he said, hey, get down, duck, and you don't listen, and now you're going to catch something upside your head. If a, man can't, if, if a man can't guide you, he can't protect you. Y'all heard what Andrew Tate said. He said, we was in the front line. These two big dudes pulled up in a Lambo. They went to the front door. Uh, my girl was pissed. I told her, shut up. The guy in front of me, his girl was like, no, 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 no. His, his, he said, yo, be quiet. She said, don't tell me what to do. She turned around. They knocked her out and then <laughs> knocked him out. You know what I'm and, Tate, and Tate looked at his girl and he said, see, that's why I told you to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> and I see that. Man. He said, God, you can read men. And I knew that just wasn't his, that wasn't the fight I wanted. You know what I mean? That's cool. That's real tough. So here we go. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong in the building. I see you down there, brother. Welcome in. Welcome in. How you feeling tonight? Good. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? Good, good. Uh, we looking. So we good. just getting started here. So I'll bring you in on this. Uh, that was part of the question. I don't know if you've seen the Sierra. I'm sure you've seen it. The Sierra What's Russell with you. Uh, if not, I played again, bro. No, I, I didn't. I didn't see that. I didn't okay, see that. so here we go. We're playing wow. some friends. You didn't see it, Jones. Here we go. What you just say to me? What you said? You said you don't need no man? I said, yeah, I said, so my girls get money. So my girls don't need no man. Hey, you don't need me. You don't need me. I yeah, want you. You just be I just all right without me. <laughs> hey. that oh yeah this just happened the other day and she's making this brother look bad at every turn like say it it seemed like at least once a week she doing this right so here we are before i break come to you real quick anybody watching on the single by choices channel here's the link for the car for the horse all right we shutting this link down here in about five seconds so it's in the chat click the link come over to the car for the horse channel catch the show we got a long show going tonight. Join the panel, open panel. So join the panel. We're gonna be up here cooking. So here we go. I'm gonna shut this down. And so my question to you, correct me if I'm wrong in the bill. I know you got a lot to say. And I see I seen somebody said in the chat a little bit. So I'm gonna let me see if I can find this. There we go. Chubby said Russell Wilson is a super simp. Uh Courtney Love said Russell is a beta man. So my question is, is Russell Wilson a beta simp? Either or, a variation of both? I don't know. Yes. You so know. because, now I'm going to get correct me if I'm wrong here first, because my quick question is, he is Super Bowl winning quarterback. I don't know too many brothers who can win a Super Bowl when the quarterback can be a beta simp. You see what I'm saying? So yes. we got to understand that words mean things. So I don't know, but what do you think? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what 
I mean, is is being a simp is that is that subjective? Like, or do we have different terms of, of what well, a simp is? Being a uh, being a simp, being a simp, according to the great Pimp C, is being sympathetic to a to a three or four's needs, being sympathetic to a three or four and her situation and condition. Well, so you sympathetic. The behavior he yes. just exhibited by her sitting there saying, I'm independent, I don't need you, and he just like, I know, I understand. You know, that would be considered being simpish behavior. Uh, okay. Uh, see, when, when, I, when I look at simps, I, I, look I at, don't know. Being a white knight, caping, I don't yeah, know. I mean, when I look at a simp, I, I think a simp is somebody who was doing, putting in a lot of energy towards somebody and really getting nothing in return. And just keep doing this over and over and over within hopes that something at some point in time will 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 happen. But uh in this situation, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I want to call him a simp more than I want to call him just like I mean, maybe he feels that way, like yo, she really don't need me. You know what I'm saying? Like now, we both got paper, you know what I'm saying? Like the you know, yeah. Now I, that's I don't, okay. I don't, I don't know. Now here's here's the thing. I feel <laughs> you. Let's now. Does Sierra need Russell financially? It's safe to say no. Okay. At the same time, is it in her best interest? Is it her place as his wife to look that man in his face and say, I don't need you? Why would she say that to her husband? What would bring this up? Say, you know what? Let me make sure this nigga know I don't need him. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I will feel like, it, you know, can we say that was disrespectful to say towards him and for him to accept it and keep it on moving will 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 make him i guess simpish you know what I mean? yes. she's, she's cool with disrespecting you like gab was saying this is happening once a week you know what i mean if you once every two weeks once a month whatever the case is then you're still accepting of it and acting like it's nothing so yeah i mean i guess you can call it as simp behavior just to keep allowing you know uh your wife to disrespect you like that like damn they could drop your nuts you feel me yeah, like, why do she got to keep letting this man know that she's independent? Why does she got to keep letting him know that she don't need him? It seems to me like, damn, is she on her way out the door? Is this something? Bingo. Is there somebody else? There you go. Or, here go my next question. <laughs> so here we go. You, we're trying to figure out why does she feel comfortable doing this? And here's my question. Does Russ have a secret life no one knows about? What whether he and that that can go many ways. It can. Whether he has, you know, a couple mistresses on the side, maybe he got two 25-year-old women, and Sierra knows this and she green lights it, but at the same time, she like, all right, part of me green lighting that is I do what I want, I say what I want, and you gotta eat it. And he like that's you know what I mean? Is he living a double life somehow and he got this as part of the abuse? I don't know. Now that now we're in 2023, it you know, I just feel like I have to say it, it could possibly be. Uh, somebody of the same sex, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, we just like you said, it can go a lot of different ways, you know. Could, could and given his behavior and demeanor, you know, less than alpha demeanor, you wouldn't be surprised, you know. Uh, my man Russell Pierce straddling that 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 fence. <laughs> this not is this is just opinions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah, saying just that opinions, my man for sure. is, you know what I'm saying, part of the community, but you know, it's a possibility. Ooh. You know, Russ played football. You know, I play high school collegiate football. You know, uh, testosterone going to come out in one way. And, and Russ just ain't showing that, man. No. Russ is, if you ask me, he is straight. He is 100% beta. For sure, for sure. What if it's something behind the closed doors that he's doing, though, man? You know? And that's what Gavin's getting at. Gavin said maybe he letting this go because, you know, Sierra done caught Russ in uh you know in some compromising situations you know or maybe she like you know russ go ahead and have your mistresses in different cities when y'all are playing ball but just know sierra independent out you could go either way i don't see that happening i could see him being gay maybe that <laughs> maybe i shouldn't use that word youtube might my shadow ban but um i don't I, I i just think she doesn't respect him and i don't think he like right there was a moment of conflict. That whole song should have created a conflict in the relationship. Like we got to talk about this, but I feel like he doesn't. His simping, like you said, simping is where you're doing something over and over again for a result. I think he's hoping to get respect from her. <laughs> okay. You feel what I'm saying? Because 
I believe that men seek respect from a relationship. That's how we get our love, where women seek to feel special and to be uh, loved. Where You know what I'm saying? And I think that she's not giving him that respect and he's trying to simp his way to it. He's trying to stay away from conflict. Everything modern, be, be sexual, like, right? show off your body, everything. And she's never going to give him that respect until he like, Demands it and confronts her like a man, like Future would. Here you oh. go. <laughs> but wait, but, 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 but wait. According to uh, Gavin Willie, Future is what we call Nug Nug, right? <laughs> yeah. The software. You got Nug Nug software for sure. So, so Nug Nug gets the respect. Yes. This uh, well, resources. Something yes. says, man. It says. Nug -nug. Uh, you don't want to be Nug Nug and a couch Negro. That's a terrible combo. I can dig that. I can there you go. go. <laughs> He's Nug Nug with paper. <laughs> there you go. You heard, you heard Future. Yeah, Nug Nug, I mean, uh, Future 8 broke Nug Nug. My man Future said, if she ain't got on the AP, she ain't with me. So he out there breaking bread with, with, okay. with his. <laughs> so shout out to Walter Briscoe. He says, as long as she don't cheat on Russ, he good. All right? Yes. As long True. as he don't find out, he's good. There you go. Long as he'll find out he done swallowed that barbed wire black pill, he'll be he'll be fine and dandy. And then if so here we go. So, so beta, like y'all say, if he finds out, he might still be good. Like this, the baddest bitch I ever had. I ain't about to leave this bitch. Possible. So let me ask you this then, because the question was, is Russ a beta simp? And people throw, like we were saying, people throw the word around a lot, mm -hmm. and it gets misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. But the question is, because we acting like, oh, you know, is a person a simp? this that yada yada as if every man's this dominant alpha man right right and we know that ain't true correct like only just look at the pride of lines or anything everybody ain't walking around alpha it's a pecking mm -hmm. order that's true right? so so the question is are most men simps are we just acting like every man's you know something that we truly ain't are most men just simply simps and oh. in disguise, they don't want to admit to it, if you will. Maybe yeah. we all have simpish, simpish characteristics. Maybe there you go. I like but that. Just to say it's being blown out, simps. No, I don't. I don't believe that. I be I believe that men are simps uh, based on their situation. So I believe that any man coming up could find himself in a simpish position. You know, with with the fact he has no resources, he has yet to, you know, develop a trade or get an education. I think any man could possibly find himself in a kind of a simpish beta position, depending on what woman he with, you know, for sure. I agree with that. You know, but I see when, when a man gets his resources together and finds himself, you know, and is comfortable being himself, then you tend to get rid of those beta and simp. Uh, characteristics. Okay, there what you got, Anger. I believe there's a there's a slight issue with this simp word because if you got if you, a lot of us men have that alpha, and these women playing this game of like, hey, you need to be more softer, soft, and being able to talk and say. I love you and all that. That's type of way. Then, then you get called a simp for hugging your, you know what I mean? For being nice to a woman and opening the door. So then now he getting, you know how Russell treated her before. You know what I'm saying? Now, now you're simp. Now you're punk. Like you can't do that, man. He took her in from being with sorry ass future. Excuse my friend. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Now he a simp because he been nice to her. Now when he turned, and get it and be like, you know what? I'm about to show you who the damn boss is. She can say, Oh, I don't need you. Cool. He need to say, I don't need your crusty ass either. <laughs> you see, but he can't. He can't sit there and say, I don't need you either. Well, but he's disrespectful if well, you do. You know what I'm saying? Sierra, in their current dynamic, Sierra, <laughs> Russell may be able to, you know, kind of bruise her heart by doing something but sierra will go out here and she will shatter his heart do you understand that the dynamic that russell and sierra got if russell if if sierra dished out that black pill my man russ gonna be on deletion watch man trust me so so let me say this 
pull up. Shout out to Danny Nicole in the chat. She says he doesn't command an ounce of respect. He being, you know, the simp, whoever this simp man is. So this is from a woman. And I swear I agree with what she's saying. He doesn't command an ounce of respect. And any and everyone can say what they want to him without consequence. Because we throw the word simp around too recklessly these days. I think mm -hmm. a lot of guys nowadays got RP rage and they don't really like women. So anything somebody do nice for women, they would consider you a simp. I.e. opening the door, <coughs> buying your wife some flowers, being mm -hmm. just anything nice you would do to a woman, they would say you're a simp. I disagree. That's not simping. Like she said here, a simp, nobody respects them, this guy, even his woman. All right, he doesn't get an ounce of respect, and people do what they want to him because they know he ain't gonna do shit. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, being being sweet, kind, loving, saying kind words to your to your significant other, your you know fiance, long term girlfriend or wife, that ain't simp. You supposed to be sweet to your woman. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that as Gavin said, that's that real red pill rage stuff. You can't open the door for your lady. You can't say. Oh, sweet blame, oh you bought your lady a car. You a simp. You buy, that's my wife, motherfucker. Yeah. And, and if you got the pay for the good, then do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that no. that ain't that ain't what time it is. But yeah, them real pill rages, they will consider anything to be simp activity. And that's them brothers that's hurt. That's whenever them sisters look and say, "Who hurt you?" That's when they get all defensive. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Gotta draw. I'm just trying to draw some lines in the sand. You see, that's all right. Every you can't say everything's being simp, but like there's she said, nothing said, wrong with loving women, man. There's nothing there wrong go. with that. But you got it. And then, I, why do people say this about Russ? Because he teeters the line of just being disrespected in most people's eyes. But like I said, we ain't in a house. But just to a man's man, you'd be like, man, you know, it wouldn't fly with me, but. You know what I mean? So that's where that comes in with Russ, I guess. Because at the end of the day, look at their relationship. We have to say what was Sierra's desired result or desired outcome with her looking in her husband's eyes and saying, I don't need you. What was her desired outcome? Was she trying to make him feel better about himself or was she trying to just feel better about herself? When she looked at her husband and said, I don't need you, did that build him up or build, break him down? Plain and simple. How long they been married? Shoot. All right, going on 10 that. years, probably almost eight, nine years, maybe. Yeah, about eight years. It's probably at its damn near run its course. So here we go. Shout out to Walter Briscoe. He said it's based on how your lady treats you in front of people or how she acts when you're not around. Amen. So it's a lot of variables, a lot of variables. You know what I mean? And I.E., that boils down to what? Respect. You know? There you go. Yep. So, yeah, I think that's the key word. I think simp and disrespect sort of goes hand in hand. I think there that's the go. conclusion we draw. There are, you go. Are, are simps worse than pick me's? Are simp? Well, pick me ain't bad. Pick me is a woman that's looking to be a wife. Women I hate think, pick me's though. You see the comments under the, they, yeah, that's, the that's that's pick me's. They yeah, them. that's my, that's that's <laughs> just city girls. That's city girls and hot girls. Some don't like pick me's because pick me. No, it's, like it's like the same thing with simp. So it's an opposing sex thing. A man mm -hmm. is looking for a pick me, just like most women are looking for a simp, whether they know it or not. They want <laughs> that. They don't want some guy that's gonna come in there and quote unquote control and tell them. How to get them in order? No, they want that guy they can push around a little bit. And if he, well, clearly not because Sierra and, and Russell pretty. I, I don't want. I don't know who makes more money, but they are both financially well off. Mm -hmm. But you know, when if it's a man who's you know demanding control and all of that type of stuff, you know, just a, in a regular relationship, he better have some fucking money. There you go. Because that bitch gonna be like, nigga, who the? You ain't got to pay <laughs> you to fuck me however you want. <laughs> you know what it is, Jones. A woman like Sierra, now that this is all coming to a head, I won't sound so crazy. Woman like Sierra, you got to come with resources. You got to come with status. And when they close that door and roll back them sheets, you better put on like Donkey Kong. You don't have a choice. Otherwise, she's going to be on social media telling everybody she don't need you. And future go be sending her uh, purple pickle emojis and shit. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, you don't want that. 
Yo want that. Yo want yo want this brother. You identify my bitches with APs. She ain't got an AP. She is not mine. You cold. He cold. She belongs to the streets. It's crazy. So <laughs> y'all want to go. I don't even know. So my last question here, we're gonna move because we're gonna tie this into the next part. But I, there's what I wanted to hit on. I know Mr. Walker said one time. A lot of times women know after they're like had a child by a man, that next man come in, it's a lower level of respect to her. I remember you was hitting on this one day, some type of deep psychology, if you will, to where she she looking at you as less than. Yes. And you yes. hit on that. So so is Russ suffering from that to where Sierra can never truly respect him? Correct. Yes. Here we go. So we gotta stop, you know, uh neglecting this big elephant in the room. Sierra had this baby by Nug Nug, all right? The fact that she saw, she said, dang, this dude play in the NFL, and he is willing. This is a Super Bowl caliber man, and he going to come in and help take care of another man. See, she automa you automatically pegged. You Your respect can only go so high. And then they come in with that soft stuff talking about, you know, Russell said in the media that, you know, the good Lord told him to go save her. These are his words. These were the words that was used, save, go save her. I, I know a song says she don't want to be saved, and that's how she coming off. She ain't trying to be saved, but Russell said he wanted to save her. He Russell set himself up for disaster from day one. Then she let Sierra play Build-A-Bear with him. Whenever, whenever her... And and Russ got together. He was wearing, you know, you know, goofy clothes, Hawaiian print shirts, khaki jean, cargo jeans, and Walmart and, shopping in Walmart. Yeah, and they made fun of him. Then Sierra came in after being around Future. She probably stole some of Future's clothes and put them right on him. 